Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The current Pakistani submarine fleet consists of two Agosta 70 diesel electric vessels bought from France and commissioned in 1979 and 1980 and three Agosta 90B diesel electric submarines purchased in 1994 one of which was made in France, the second one was assembled in Pakistan and the third one made entirely in Pakistan. The third of these Agosta 90B submarines was fitted with French MESMA Air Independent Propulsion System and by 2011, the other two submarines of this class had been retrofitted with this AIP system. Now it's important to note that MESMA AIP is different from the fuel cell based AIP which DRDO has developed and Indian Navy is planning to retrofit in Calvary class submarine. MESMA makes use of ethanol and oxygen as energy source. The advantage of MESMA is its higher power output when compared to the alternatives which allows higher underwater speed but its major drawback is its lower efficiency. Also, the rate of oxygen consumption is said to be very high and these systems are very complex. These drawbacks makes several navies to opt for a sterling cycle and fuel cell alternatives. Back in 2020, the Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's loud criticism of French President Emmanuel Macron's defense of the right to mock religion following the murder of a French school teacher has led to refusal of the upgrade of Pakistan's fleet of Mirage fighter jets, air defense system and Agosta 90B class submarines. The French government's decision not to upgrade Mirage 3 and Mirage fighter jets have severely impacted the Pakistan Air Force which has had about 150 Mirage fighter jets and only half of them are now serviceable. Recently, it has been admitted by Pakistan military company GIDS official that the France has stopped giving support to Pakistan Agosta 90B submarines completely and French do not want a deal with Pakistan Navy at all. In 2016, Pakistan has signed a deal with Turkey for the upgrade of Agosta 90B class submarine. STM, a Turkish firm, is doing the retrofitting of these submarines. The PNS Saad and Agosta 90B submarine is in dry docks, being refitted and will be out of action for at least two more years. STM is making necessary changes to ensure the usage of Sea Hake torpedoes and Bauer 3 submarine launched cruise missile. The Turkish firm is also refitting the PNS Khalid the other Augusta 90B submarine and there are considerable COVID related delays. Now this leaves Pakistan Navy with only two submarines under active service which are PNS Hasmat and PNS Hurmat of Augusta 70 class. However, these two submarines are available only till the middle of this year. PNS Hurmat has a dodgy starboard engine as well as problem with its ESM or electronic warfare support major system making it virtually blind and non-operational soon. In 2016, Pakistan had signed another deal with China for buying eight Hangor class submarine, a derivative of China's Type 39A Yuan class diesel electric attack submarines. It is reported that China will build four of the submarine at Karachi shipyard and China will also transfer technology for construction of submarine to Pakistan. These submarines will include air independent propulsion system featuring closed cycle Stirling engines. The first four submarines are expected to be completed by 2023 and remaining four by 2028 at an estimated cost of up to $5 billion. Now this is going to increase challenges for Indian Navy as Pakistan is going to get eight new submarines and three more upgraded one with the help of Turkish firm. While Pakistan has to focus and mobilize its resources only against India, the Indian Navy has to handle two front war scenario including China and Pakistan and it will struggle with its fleet of just 17 diesel attack submarines. While it might take decades to build new submarines under Project 75I, 
or nuclear attack submarines under project 75 alpha the navy has drastically improved its anti submarine assets and it's a smart move as well indian navy is at present building 16 anti submarine warfare vessels eight at grsc and another eight at csl besides indian navy has 12 pa type poseidons which are at present world's best submarine hunter aircraft Indian Navy also operates 5 Eloshin 38 planes which are being upgraded to use the Sea Dragon avionics suit. These aircrafts have proven to be reliable in the role of maritime reconnaissance, anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue. Indian Navy also operate 27 Donier 228 and in process to induct 8 more state of art Donier for anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol. These aircrafts are also equipped with advanced sensors, class cockpit, advanced surveillance radar, LNIT, optical sensors and networking features. In the rotor craft segment, Indian Navy has been operating Kamov Ka-25, Kamov Ka-28 and Kamov Ka-31 for anti-submarine roles. Navy also operates Westland Seeking and Sukhoi SH-3 seeking helicopters for anti-submarine warfare. Indian Navy has also purchased T24 MS60R helicopters. Overall, we can see that Navy has built quite a large and versatile anti-submarine asset. Still, it does not negate the need for more submarine in the lights of rising strength of Pakistan and Pele Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.